We are. We are live um, in London and we are evangelizing. Um, going to be speaking to people one on one um, and giving out some gospel tracts. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, we'll see what the Lord does with us today and we've apologetic to London um, as well. So, for anybody that comes on and wants to subscribe to them, I recommend that you do that. Um, and hey to the person just joining. So, okay, we'll just see what the Lord does with us. to the people joining so we're live and we are going to be evangelizing and talking to people um, about the gospel in the hope that we can um, reach them and they might be saved so that's what we are um, doing and we are in shepherds Hey, welcome. All right, so, um, okay, so we're gonna, yeah, just be talking to people. Hey, how is everybody doing? I pray everybody's having a blessed day um, in whatever part of the world you are in. So, but we are here, I'm here with. Uh, Amy and Apologetics London. Um, yeah, so they're live as well. So, yeah. Hey, Janelle, sound is good. Praise the Lord, that's good. Yeah, praise God. Um, so, we're going to. There's a lot of people, it's busy. It doesn't look busy from the background, but actually, look. So. Hey. Thank you. So, hi. Yeah. So we're like um, doing a YouTube live. Yeah, but you have to do it off the premises, Kevin. But lady. not. Uh, where right is? Right here. I can show you too. You where? Yeah, I can show you where the premises. You can do this. You can do it on the on the west Um. Is is there a reason we're just talking to people about Jesus? Whether or not, my lady. You have to be off the premises. Try Okay, so, all right. I can show you. Hello, Governor. Hello. Hello. Not allowed on okay. the Westby premises. Yeah? I can show you. you. I can show you where you can do it. Yeah? Come with me. All right. So, we're being moved yeah, support, by security. I support Christ. So, you support Christ? Yeah, I support Christ. No, he's not. He's, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't find me. We want to be where the people are. Like, where all the crowds are. You're bringing Christ, so you yeah. have to bring them to Christ. Yes, that's the whole point of why we're doing it. So you say you support him, what do you mean? You support him, you believe in him? Are you Christian? I'm not a Christian, I'm a God-fearing man. Okay, but you know Jesus said you've got to be born again. So most people think that going to church or being baptized makes them Christian. I don't, I don't, but I don't go down that, that diversion. I know that there's a moment right here amongst us. But Jesus said that man has to be born again, John chapter 3. So when you put your faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, yeah, it gives you a new heart, put his spirit lady, in you, I know, I know those lines, and he brings those you doctrines. So, so you could do it right here for my lady. Right here? Right here. Okay. You stay until next month. You welcome. Are? Yeah. Welcome you. Okay. So you can come this way. <sighs> Thank the you, yeah? John. Sorry. Right here, my lady. Right back. Right back. That's it. What about um the dad? Is it this one? Right, this one. Not that one. Not that one. Like this. Where do you think I'm being at then? Oh, no, 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 no. Come to the ladies up in here. Yeah, 
questions, I know I would made up. Come on, do I work? You get me? No, because your colleagues said that that pavement, not this one. So all your colleagues know that all my colleagues told you that you still end up over that side. Earlier. No, because I didn't know that anybody was going to That's why. So I must have been thinking that they were going to be like that. Yeah, but if it happens, you have to drop on the street. So I can't see you. Here, my lady. Here, my lady. So they own it here? Here, my lady. It's perfectly convenient. Hi. I saw you on YouTube. Amen. Oh, hello. How are you? Yeah. yeah, we're live now, so we seem to be reaching people oh. with the gospel. <laughs> so are you are here giving out gospel tracts? Yeah, just talking to one by one as well. Uh, what's yeah. your name? Messiah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, you know. Not Messiah. Okay. <laughs> like, I know. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Messiah. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from Philippines. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just came across to your video. What in Samoa? I mean, um. Um, it's not fault, and then one in um, where is that one? Where, where sometimes I go there as well. I, I totally forgot. But nice to see you guys here. Uh, nice oh, do you have a channel on YouTube yourself? Uh, I don't. Oh, but okay. I just saw you live. Oh, okay. So I said, oh yes, this woman got the pressure. Yeah, man, come on, let's go. Oh, okay. There's your country. Yeah. And your claim. No, you cannot have that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So usually and we we are not allowing us to just like make a I mean, it's people here, so they put uh, a, like amplifier side. They used to allow here. We used to press here, but then they don't allow. And sometimes there are security law enforcer just passing by here, just yeah. checking the. It's not anyway. illegal to share the gospel. Absolutely, absolutely. But they just putting this thing. But I saw people they do the when sometimes they are not here and they just. It. And Sunday we did it, and no one is. <laughs> Just go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's not illegal for us to Absolutely. preach. So, do you come here with a camera? Because that's what they had issue with, with the camera being on that property because it's private. Oh uh, yeah, sometimes the Muslim come here and they have camera, like something here as well. As long yeah. as you are in this here. Ah, oh, this bit here, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of traffic there anyway. It's a lot of people coming from that angle as well. So, yeah. Um, mm. So tell me about your faith in Jesus then. You're not a Catholic? I'm born again Christian. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. I would have put it if I'm Catholic, I think. <laughs> okay, well, then, you know what? It's because there's a lot of Filipinos are Catholic. And so, I know, yeah. Um, like 90% and, percent, like mm, And so it's about trying to reach them with the true gospel. Absolutely, yeah. Because, yeah. um, you know, they can't be saved by their work. Mary worship is wrong. Absolutely. Um, I agree 100%. I agree yeah. with you. So what brought you to the UK? Well, I came here to work. So yeah, that's the thing, and I did not know my calling. That Do you I go back even... home with the gospel? Do you teach, take the gospel back to the Philippines? Um, no, not yet, but I do call pastors in there, but sometimes it's like it's not yet the season for me. I used to call like 2018 before COVID, I ministered to churches and yeah, they were doing amazing in the church. So yeah, at the moment, it's, my focus really is here and I'm, 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 even now I'm really thinking about this Africa because Open wow. book is really yeah. daily work. Okay. But anyway, wherever, even here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here so, okay. Well, Amen. nice to meet yeah, you. I don't want to bother you so much with your yeah. No, no, you're okay. You're good. I'm live now, so you can say you? hi. Yeah, I'm on oh. YouTube live. So, <laughs> yes. Christ, yeah, his name's Messiah, not Messiah, Messiah. Messiah, yeah. What's your yeah. name again? Sarah. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Nice and that's uh, and we've apologized London to the yeah with other Christian YouTubers. Amen. Yeah. Let's so. let's the London open with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. see what the Lord has for us today. Eh? See what we will do with the people today. So. Okay. All right. Hello. Have you got questions? Send questions. So, um, Adam's moderator. Okay. So, um,
Do you know, uh, Lamia, I just added you as a moderator. Janelle, I want to add you as a magic managing moderator, like Lamia. I want to, I might have to take you off as a moderator and then put you back on again. I don't want to take that risk. I don't know what to do because you're a moderator, but you're standard and I want to make you a manager. So how do I do that? Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm scared. If I remove you as moderator to put you as a managing moderator, I, I'm, I'm worried in case I won't be able to add you again. Um, do you think I would be able to add you again straight away? Because I don't want to lose you as a moderator. Let me try. Okay. Bear with me. All right. Um, all right. Janelle? Send a message. Write something. I want to click on your name. All right, hold on. There we go. Done. Okay, both of you are the same now. You and Lamia, you're both the same. I've got you as uh, both of you are managing moderators. So I've done it now. That's it. You're done. All done. That's it. Praise the Lord. So. Um, Yes, both of you, you and Janelle are managing moderators. I don't know what the difference is, but I thought it was better. So whatever the difference is. Um, so, um, but, all right, so we're gonna see if we can find some people to talk to. So. Excuse me. I'm Catholic. Ah. So Amy and John are talking to a Catholic. Uh, Alright. Okay. So, um, Right, let me move over. Thank you, Jesus. No, we asked her to pray for us dinner. No, it's like Israelite woman. I think that super. guy was, you know, the security guard. I got a feeling he was an Israelite. I asked him, he wouldn't say, but I can, you know what, I've got experience. I can actually recognize people now. But there was a black man who was a Hebrew. The way you recognize them is that they have this Egyptian cross and then they they have this African thing. So the first guy wouldn't speak to me. They'd say, oh, we believe in some aspect of the Bible. And then a woman, she was a Hebrew. Yeah, and so I knew straight away, but she had to go so she was speaking to me she's coming back. Well, maybe they're gods. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I just want to talk yeah, to people like this. Maybe they're it's just crazy. But it's good for John to speak to them. By the way, can you come back? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm getting a phone call from um, from um, I don't want to say her name on YouTube. Um, she lives in Israel. <laughs> That's a big clue. Can you do me a favour? Can you send her a message and tell her that I'm live at the moment and I can't talk? Um, so. John, I was just talking to somebody who claims to be a Catholic. I think Catholicism because Catholic is an apostolic church. Yeah, maybe. Do you believe in God? We just talked about atheism. One of them is called the Ethnic Virginity of Mary. Now, if you 
Talk to the camera. Do you okay. have any questions? Yeah, people send questions. Send questions. Yes. All right. Hold on. I don't know if the light's gone on my phone. I'm gonna. Does, how does it look? Because I feel like the light has gone on my phone for some reason. You have to put the parking up, no? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's the camera. I don't know. I feel like my phone is on its way out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I was. Anyway, I don't want to I don't say. Know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean. I don't want to. I don't really know. Do we have a conversation? YouTube. Yeah, it's not that many. Yeah, but yes. it's literally 20 people, it's not very good. Okay. okay, so, um, okay, so we're going to put the camera here. So can you tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, uh, my, my mum is from Ireland, my dad's from the Middle East, um, live in London, grew up in, uh, kind of grew up all over the place. Where's your dad from? Syria. Okay, uh, you know, I've got a friend just like you. Really? <laughs> who's got, uh, whose mom is Irish. She's watching me now, actually. Really? Yeah, it's, um, her, she's What's from, everyone saying? She, I, I think, is your dad from Syria, let me ask, and her mom is Irish, but you know what, she's a Christian. Oh, she's yeah, She's yeah. not, um, she, cause, you know, she basically, like, obviously she grew up, um, I think, I pray this, am I okay to share this, let me ask, I'm talking about you. But basically, she was, you know, her dad was Muslim and whatever, yeah. so she grew up, kind of knowing a little bit about that I think but obviously as you grow up you kind of develop your own yeah, yeah, thing um, and then a few years ago she had an encounter with Jesus and so and that's when he saved her and she came to realize that you know religion is basically not from God so there's lots of religions you've got Roman Catholicism I don't know is your mom Catholic yeah okay so um, Okay, very, very similar to the meals. <laughs> I think I did Syrian as well. She spent about a year there when she was a friend. Yeah, so it's funny. But um, small world. Yeah. Um, but and her mum was Irish. And so basically, so religion, Roman Catholicism, Islam, all of it. Now, um, you know, they all teach you the same thing. If you look at them, they're very similar. You know, you got your 40 days of Ramadan in. Islam, but then you've got your 40 day Lent in Catholicism. And what they do is they get you focusing on you and being a good person. Yeah. And if you can do good enough, they might just make it to heaven. Not even Muhammad knew that he was going to go to heaven. He said he didn't know where he was going. Um, but the thing is, you know, God created the entire world, He made every human, and sin entered the world through the first man and woman. And it came to all men, it spread to all men. And so in Adam, all men, we die spiritually, we're dead. And so what Jesus did was, you know, God took on flesh, came into his creation, lived a perfect sinless life, suffered and died on the cross for our sin. So when we put our faith in him, that's payment for our sin. But not just that, but he breathes life into us. Yeah. So he makes us a living soul again. You know, he restores us back to the way we were supposed to be before the fall of man. Yeah. So it's not about religion. It's not about so, let me up. I really pray I was okay. I was talking about you then because it was the same. It, oh, Jada. Oh, is that? No, no. Um, okay. Yeah, let me up. I really pray that uh, that was okay. <laughs> so, um, for some reason, the light on my phone is not good. Um, let me see if I can work out what's going on with it. All right, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need to sort out my ears. Yeah. Mm. But the brightness is turned up. Yeah. The brightness is turned up. Mm. But for some reason it's got dark. It was fine before and now it's got dark. Anyway, are there any questions? Yeah. Um, okay, so let me see. We'll try and get some more people to stop and talk to us. So. Okay. Um, all right. So. Um, do you want to have a conversation? Okay. Is it still down the right now? Yeah, it's still really down, but hopefully, Lord willing, it'll be alright soon. Uh, I don't know. As long as people can see. Yeah. Maybe they can. I don't know why it's gone like that, but it's gone really dark. I don't like it. Um, so try and get some more people to stop and speak to us. questions um, so we can answer them um, so basically um, just to share some news um, Lord willing um, I Uh, yeah, but the light the camera's on me. How old are you? Old enough. No, you're not. You're How old really young. <laughs> you're only. You're really young. How much? Okay, so I keep losing connection for some reason. I'm losing signal. Let me see if I can move. Um, so. All right. So um, I'm gonna wait. I was gonna share some news with you all, but I'm gonna wait actually until everything is sort of planned and then you can find out what it is that I'm up to. Um, sorry, just, oh wait. Um, anyway, so. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to determine whether or not that thing was true, what you said. So, um, all right, so we're going to try talking to people one on one. send your question all right okay hopefully Lord willing that would be better yeah. all right so Amy's so good at getting people to stop so excuse me madam do you believe in God so. Anyway, some children approached us, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't approach children, but you know what? What it's would good God though. think? You're evangelizing I mean, them. It's good. You know, uh, yeah, they were asking, what do we do, and all the rest. And, you know, 
but we can't turn them away because God could be sending them to us. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm for that. All right. Okay. This is this world is becoming more godless. You know, they're thinking of making it legal to preach to um, homosexuals in England. Um, they have I don't know if they've done it yet. They were thinking about doing it today in the King's speech, but they didn't. Praise the Lord. At least not from what I could gather. They haven't done it. But you know what? Even if they do do that, we got to still preach because it is simple. The behaviour is simple, and it's going to lead them to hell. In the same way that fornication and drunkenness and you know um, lying, all of these behaviours are simple. And no one that practices this stuff will inherit the kingdom of God. We have to be born again. And when we're born again of God's spirit, God's spirit changes us. And it's God's spirit in us that then enables us to live godly. It's called sanctification. It's an ongoing work. And, you know, and every one of us who are in Christ, we're all works in progress. No one is perfect, but we have his righteousness. So he takes our sin and he gives us his righteousness. And then once he gives us his imputed righteousness, we walk in it. Which one? Okay, let's have a conversation. Uh, and so, um, you know, so if they try to ban us from telling homosexuals that their behavior is simple, we still have to tell them because it's evil if we don't. We have to listen to God, not man. Um, and even if that means, you know, going to prison, getting fined, whatever it means, we just trust the Lord with it uh, because we're living in some dark times. It's the world is getting darker and they call evil good and good evil. And so we must stand on the truth of God's word, regardless of whatever the cost is, whatever the cost is to ourselves, we have to do what Jesus tells us to in his word. We don't go against the government unless the government go against scripture. And if they go against scripture, then we go against them because we obey God, not man. Um, otherwise, we submit ourselves. We are very, we be submissive to the government. Um, you know, we're not lawbreakers. Um, you know, we do, we, we, we submissive. We, we, we submit, we submit. Um, but when they do something that contradicts this book, for example, they say, you can't talk about Jesus. If they ever said that, we talk about Jesus. If they say, you can't preach the gospel, we continue preaching the gospel. When they tell us that we can't tell if, uh, gays that their behavior is simple, we tell them their behavior is simple. Why? Because we obey God, we don't obey man. But we just can't take it upon ourselves to do whatever we want, okay? So we can't, you know, still break the law in other ways. That's not okay. We can't do that, um, you know. It's just uh, trying to keep people So, but... Otherwise, we obey God. Okay. So, um, he might want to show his back yeah. to you. I don't know. Or okay. Maybe he doesn't. All right. So, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, my name is Diego. I'm half Polish, half Colombian. I'm 15 years old and I'm a Catholic. You're a Catholic? Yeah. Okay. So, is that just what you grew up with? Yeah, yeah I grew up with Catholic. All right. Okay. And do you go to Catholic school? No. Do you go to church? I used to, but then we stopped since it wasn't really close. All right. And so tell me, in the Catholic Church, yeah. growing up, did you have you always lived in the UK? Or? Yeah, yeah, I was born and raised in the UK. Okay. So um, in the Catholic Church growing up, what did they teach you about salvation? Salvation? I, um, kind of, I kind of forgot, and I want to get more closer to God since I just feel like I'm doing really wrong thing. I want to make my parents proud, proud of me, and I want God to look at me and say, yeah, I'm really proud of you. That's, you know what, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, because most 15-year-olds, you know, they want the world, you know, but the thing is, the world is temporary, and everything in the world is going to pass away one day, and there's nothing more important than Jesus. But the only issue is, is the Roman Catholic Church, what they teach people and what the Bible says, they're two completely different things. So the Roman Catholic Church say that there's no salvation outside of their church. But Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me. And then we have, um, you know, they say that you can receive grace through the sacraments. So if you do the sacraments, then God gives grace. So the more you go to church, or the more you do good deeds, the more God will give you grace, and the more God will be happy for you. Yeah, so what they do is they divert your attention away from Jesus, and they put it on you. 
So instead of trusting in Jesus for salvation, you're trusting in yourself, you're trusting in your works, you're trusting in how good you can be. But Jesus says in the Bible that there's none good, not one, and that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so we're not saved by what we do. You can't be good enough to go to heaven. All right, there's only one way that you can get there and that's through faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus said that unless a man be born again, then he cannot see the kingdom of God. Do you know what being born again means? Like once you pass away and you come as a spirit being. In where? Like being a spirit being. Like no, spirit. so it's about becoming a new creature. So right now you're dead in your sin, yeah? But if you was to put your trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin, so if you was to come to Jesus and say, you know what? Lord, I'm a sinner and I, you know, save me. And then you believe in your heart that Jesus is God, that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. If you confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, Jesus himself will save you. And when he saves you, he'll give you a new heart, put his spirit in you and bring you into relationship. And when Jesus does that, he not only takes your sin away from you, but he also gives you his perfect righteousness. So when the Father looks at you, the Father doesn't see you, the Father sees Jesus in you. And so when you stand before the Father, you don't stand before him in your own righteousness. You don't come to God saying, I've done all this work. You come to God like the Pharisee, uh, sorry, the tax collector in the story of the Pharisee, and the tax collector like, with your face down, like, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And then you put your trust in Jesus. And so it's not about what you do, it's about believing and trusting in what Jesus has done. That's how we get to heaven. We put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. So, um, okay, so if I ask you again, what does it mean to be born again? What do you say? Being another like, creature. So you become a new creature, but how do you become a new creature? Become a new creature, like you have to do to be saved? Go put your head down to God and be like, peace have mercy on you, and you've got to ask forgiveness. And what else? And you've got to say that you're a sinner and be honest with the Lord. But what do you have to believe in your heart? You have to believe in your heart something. You have to believe to God and God and only, and you have to put your faith to God. You have to believe in your heart that Jesus is God. You have to believe that Jesus paid for your sin was buried and raised on the third day. That's how you get saved. That's how you get born again. Yeah. Okay, so you you, it's, you do have to come to Jesus humbly with your face down and say, Lord, have mercy on me, sinner. You don't have to pray it that way. You can pray anything that is in your heart. You know when he saved me, you know all I said to him? Lord, help me. That was it. Three words, Lord, help me. Because nothing in my life made any sense. I'd reached the end of myself and I just, I knew I couldn't go back to living the way that I had lived before. I felt like I'd woken up because I'd been sick and I felt like I'd woken up in somebody else's life. And something in me needed to change, but I didn't know what it was. And then I cried out to Jesus and that was when he saved me. And when he saved me, he transformed me from the inside out. I was born again. I was a new creature. I was, a, I'm a work in progress. You know, I had deep, my heart was changed, but as you know, the more I get to know him, the more he teaches me things about myself, and the more I'm, you know, progressing and, and changing and learning. That's an ongoing thing, it's called sanctification, it's a work that God does after He saves us, and we're all works in progress. But salvation, separate from sanctification, is by grace through faith in Jesus, not in the Catholic Church, not in a pope, not in a priest, not in the sacraments, but in Jesus. Because 2,000 years ago, he died for your sins. And he was buried and raised on the third day. And when you believe that in your heart, not just that he died for the sins of the whole world, now I've got to be a good person, but that you realize you're not a good person and that Jesus didn't just die for the sins of the whole world, but he died for you personally. And then you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That's salvation for you. So you need to focus not on, you know, trying to be a good person, not on trying to please everybody else, but your relationship with Jesus. You've got to come to know who Jesus is. You have to put your faith in Jesus and what he did for you if you want salvation. Okay, so then tell me, how do you get saved? So when you walk away, I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. Well, I'll cry to Jesus and ask for his forgiveness. What do you have to believe in your heart? You have to believe that God is Jesus. Huh? That Jesus is God. And what else? And that uh, uh, God, that uh, you have to meet. Uh, 
I want, uh, you know, I want to make sure you understand because you want salvation and I want you to have salvation. So tell me, and it's not a trick, it's not, you know, don't worry about the audience. They're praying for you. They all want you to be saved as well. So you tell me how you want, how to be born again. To be born again, you have to give your life. You have to cry for Jesus' help and you'll be born back as another like, animal, creature, or species. You are? You'll be born as another like, creature. Or no, species. you just become a new creature. So right now, you're very much in your flesh, yeah? So you're drawn to the things of this world. You're drawn to sin. Lying doesn't feel like a big deal to you. Pride is no issue to you. You can sin against God and not be afraid, yeah? That's the way of the world, sadly enough. All right? When you recognize that you are sinful, and then you cry out to Jesus, and you say, Lord, save me, and then you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, you will have salvation. You don't become another creature. Like, you don't become a dog, cat, or animal, you know? We're living in a really strange world, but no, that's not how you get born again. You need to, Jesus will make you a new person. So instead of desiring, lying won't feel like a good thing for you. Lying will be like um, the scariest thing in the whole world. You'll have the fear of the Lord just because you have the Holy Spirit. You won't want to sin against God. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect, but you certainly won't want to do it. It will grieve you because it will grieve the Holy Spirit in you. And so you, the way you receive the Holy Spirit is through faith in Jesus Christ. So in order for you to receive salvation, you have to believe certain things about Jesus. What do you need to believe about Jesus for you to have salvation? For you to believe that. I don't know what was the question again. What do you have to believe about Jesus if you want salvation? That. My mind, my mind is not really good. You have to believe that Jesus is God. Yeah, Jesus is God. And what else? And that when you sin, it may not look like that. Like, man, you're just sinning. Yeah, but it's really bad for you. But you don't get saved by stopping that. That's not how we don't get you saved by our works. Yeah, you got to. You got to come to. But it's not about you stopping. You've got to, to realize that. Yeah, you have to realize that you are a sinner, yeah, that are and a sinner. that you need a savior. And then you cry out to Jesus and yeah. say, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. So how do you get saved? Yeah, you have to come to Jesus and say, My Lord, I am a sinner. And then what do you have to believe in your heart? You have to believe that Jesus is God. And what else? And that, that you, you have to clear it. Like. You're a sinner, isn't it? No, what do you have to believe about Jesus? See, your heart will determine your salvation. You can say to Jesus anything you want, but if you don't believe in the right stuff in your heart, you will not be saved. So your heart will be the reason you get saved. So what you believe about Jesus in your heart will determine whether you get saved or not. It's so important that you believe in the right stuff. Because if you don't, it doesn't matter how many times you pray, your praise will not be heard on high. You have to believe in your heart certain things about Jesus. So tell me, what do you need to believe about Jesus in your heart? About certain things about Jesus. What do you what certain things? Tell me what they are in your heart. I have told you again and again, and this is like being at school. You're not leaving here. Miss the right answer because this is the most important issue you will ever have in your whole life. And so I want to make sure that when you leave me, you understand what you need to believe and what you need to do in order for you to receive this free gift of salvation. You've got, okay, you got to cry to Jesus for mercy and forgiveness and that, to know that you are a sinner. And, and then got, believe. And then believe that Jesus is God. And what else? And that in your heart, you're always going to be a sinner unless you fix up. And what you have to believe about Jesus, what did Jesus do for you? He, he gave his life for you. He paid for that sin. paid for that sin with... with uh, getting hit by and three, day three days later he has been born again no three days later he was he was, uh, he was mourned with. raised from the dead raised from the dead yeah okay so for you to be saved you have to confess you're a sinner confess well actually the bible says you've got to confess the lord jesus yeah so you have to admit you're a sinner in order to come to jesus you've got to admit you are a sinner in need of a savior but you have to confess the lord jesus and believe in your heart that jesus is God. God. And what else? And uh, you've got a crown for mercy. He mercy. died for your sin. He died for your sins on the cross. I was buried and raised on the third day. Raised on the third day. Okay, so now tell me again, one more time in your own words, what do you have to confess and believe about Jesus? To believe.
believe what Jesus, Jesus is God, and you've got to confess that you're a sinner. And uh, that three days later, Jesus was, uh, that came back from the dead. So you have to basically admit you're a sinner in need of a saviour. You have to confess Jesus is Lord yeah. and believe in your heart that Jesus is God, yeah. that he died for your sin, yeah. was buried and raised on the third day. Yeah. So tell me what you need to believe in your heart again. Jesus is God. And what else? And, uh, it's so important that you get this right. Jesus is God and uh, uh, in your very heart you got respect that Jesus died on the cross for, for you to live basically. For, you, for your for, sins. For your sins, basically, yeah. And for you to live, because but, without Jesus right now, we wouldn't be living. No, no, but we would, we would be, we're, we're dead in our sin. And for us to have eternal life, we have to believe in Jesus, yeah. yeah? But there's certain things we have to believe about Jesus, and if we don't believe in those right things, then we're not going to be saved. So you can believe in Jesus, but you still believe you have to be a good person. Yeah. If you believe that, then you're not going to be saved. But when you can confess the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So in order for you to have salvation, you have to admit you're a sinner in need of a savior, confess Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. So from your heart, what do you need to believe about Jesus? That Jesus died for your sins. And on the third day? He come back from the dead. Yes, amen. That's what you got to believe in there. Yeah. All right? So admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. Call on Jesus and believe in your heart and you shall be saved. Let me give you this, actually. Because, you know, you do need this. Because this tells you everything. The ABC. Admit you're a sinner. Believe Jesus is Lord and call upon his name. The Bible verses for you to study. All right? What about you? What do you believe? You what? What God? So come and talk to me. All right. Okay. So, all right. I was, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that he understood. He understood exactly what needed to be done for salvation. Because, you know, he can walk away from there not really having a clue. The Bible says he's been to spiritually discerned. But if he knows, it's a seed, and the Lord will give the increase in his time in. So when he's ready. Um, so I don't know what we're doing. I don't know whether we're going to be staying here or whatever. Let me get a drink. Salvation is by grace, through faith in Jesus Christ, not of ourselves. It is a gift from God, not of works, just any man should boast. And when you, if you give somebody a gift, you don't make them earn it, do you? You don't make them earn it. You have, you, you, it's not like I have to do something in order for me to receive God's grace. The Bible says I receive God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ, not of works. Not of works. Um, we have to be born again, and that comes through our faith in Jesus Christ. We become the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus, Romans 3.22. So, um, okay, does anybody have any questions? Anything, ask me whatever you want about Jesus. No, I don't believe we can lose our salvation. So there's lots of Bible verses. Jesus says, you know, my sheep hear my voice. I know them. I give them eternal life. They will never perish. But uh, Ephesians 2, 8 says salvation is a gift from God. And in Romans 11:29 it says the gifts of God are without repentance. 
So if God gives you a free gift, you can't lose that. And John 1.12 says we're born not of human decision, but of God's. And if God, you know, we're born again, we're born into his family, we're adopted into his family. And so, you know, and it's, we're told in Ephesians 1 um, that we are sealed until the day of redemption. Um, and that he that began a good work in us will bring it to completion. So, you know, we're not saved by nothing we do. And we're not kept saved by what we do. We're only kept saved by faith. And it's our faith in, tr in Christ that sustains us. It's God that f saves us. And it's God that keeps us. Okay, yeah. So we're saved not because of what we do. Hi. Oh, your mic is so good. Hi, how's Hello. it going? Yeah, we're okay. We're good. Tell us a bit about you then. What do you believe uh, about God? My name is Daniel. I'm a carpenter. I'm actually like a MMA professional fighter. Okay, so tell us, what do you believe about God? About God? Mm. I believe in God. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Amen, 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 amen. And what do you believe about Jesus? Like, what do you believe? Like, who what, is he? What do I believe in Jesus? Mm. I do believe that Jesus Christ died for, for like us. For you. you get me for yeah. For obviously, your sin, for yeah, yeah, well, yeah. For, so, for my bad things, my English is weak at first. Like, okay. listen, yeah. So do you do any like? Are you? Uh, what church do you belong to? Um, it's like, can I say it in Polish? Because I'm actually my English is weak. It's like a Najświętszego Ciała i Krwi Chrystusa in in Sokolka. It's like the most, um, um, you get me, like the body of the Christ and stuff. The Catholic Church? Huh? Do you believe in the Catholic Church? Catholic Church, yeah, obviously okay. I'm a Catholic. Okay, all right, okay. All right, well the Catholic Church teaches you that um, salvation is by grace. Uh, they teach you that you have to do works, that you receive God's grace through the sacraments. Oh, really? Yeah, so basically, so, in order for you to have salvation, first of all, you have to be baptized. They say that's regeneration. This is what the Catholic Church say, okay? This is not what I say. Okay. The Catholic Church say that's regeneration. Then they say you have to be confirmed in the Catholic Church. And then you have I to am. maintain, no, but that's not salvation. And they say that you have to maintain that salvation through the sacraments. And the more sacraments you do, the more grace you will have. And if you just, you, and therefore you might just be good enough to get to heaven. So, do you know what the Bible says? How, how is it called the, um, you know, when it's like marriage and before this, you have to do some sacraments no, at no. the church. So no, that's okay. not what the Bible says. So dead, you're dead. According to scripture, you're dead, all right? The Bible yeah. says that in James 2.26, Ephesians 2, Colossians 2.13, you're okay. dead, all right? Now, dead people don't you're wake up. You're talking about some crazy shit. No, like I know about... that. Spiritually, you're dead. <laughs> all right. No, no, let me just, I'll tell you, let me explain it. Right? Dead people, spiritually dead people, they have to be made alive. You've got Jesus needs to breathe life I've into you. I've just been on cemetery, like. Okay, right yeah, no, I'm not talking about that kind of dead. I'm talking about spiritually. You don't okay, have the so Holy Spirit in you. Yeah, just, what do you want from me to say? Okay, well, all right. I'm trying to simplify it for you. I'm trying to simplify it. Jesus needs to breathe the Holy Spirit into you. For you to be saved, you need life breathed into you. That has to come through Jesus Christ. Jesus is breathing. Okay, how does Jesus do that? According to scripture, it's not through sacraments. Um, you For get you me, I would, I would answer this, but my English is weak, okay. you get me. All I right. would answer it in Polish. Okay. Okay. Where are you from though? I'm from here, I'm from the UK. Oh, UK. Can, so, I, can I record it as well? Where can I see it? Like, this is um, Sarah's Ministries for Jesus Christ. Can I Christ. take a picture of the thing? Yeah, this is Sarah's Ministries for Jesus. So um, go on to YouTube and then I'll, I'll YouTube, it's yeah. on YouTube, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Is it like recorded or is it live? This is live, I'm live. So it's not recorded? No, I'm live right now. Oh, uh, I thought they're gonna like um, watch it after. You can watch it after. Oh, I would yeah, still be online. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's recording. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. What, what's the what's the point? All right, so. And this is us here now. Subscribe. Right, that's yes, us. So right, that's, that's us. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so you know what? I will say, like, 
No, so, but I want to explain the gospel to you before you go. Because I'm right? like... Easy. Yeah, and then you can, you can, you can um, put it in Google Translate. Or, you know right? what? I won many fights and, and I like, I'm like... Still needs to be born again. You know what? It's all because of Jesus. Jesus, it's our like Lord. Thanks a lot for Jesus, Jesus Christ. Thank you. All right, have but guess what? Day. You don't know Jesus yet. I don't know Jesus no, yet. No, you have to be born I again. Huh? Okay, you're not going to find Jesus in Roman Catholicism. Okay. All right, now I, what I'm trying to explain to you is you have to be born again. All right? Really? Do Jesus I have said to be, that. Do I have to? Yes. Be, oh, you're asking me. No, this is what Jesus said. Jesus said in John chapter 3, assuming yeah. you've read the Bible. Can I have it? Yes. Jesus said in John chapter 3, that unless a man be born again and he cannot see the kingdom of God. Spiritually, I'll try to explain this before you're dead. All right? You need there Jesus time, to bring life into you. There was a time you. when I stopped believing in Jesus, but actually, like one month ago, I started again. Okay, well, maybe like, Jesus has brought you here for a reason so you can hear the yeah, true gospel. Yeah, of course, of okay, course. Okay, the, the Roman Catholics, they say you can have salvation through the sacraments. The Bible says salvation is through faith in Jesus Christ. When you put your faith in Jesus, hey, come here. They well, can't all right, see you. they know me anyway. They don't worry about me. They they want to see you more than they want to see me. So, when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin, yeah. Sorry again. You have to put your faith in Jesus if you yeah, want salvation, yeah, yeah, yeah. not in the Catholic Church, obviously. not in sacraments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Catholic Church is rubbish. Church. The price are sucks. The the price sucks. And stuff that you're just looking for money. Exactly. Yeah, but you gotta go I'm to saying. Jesus. And salvation is believing in what Jesus did. Obviously, you obviously believe... I'm praying every night for no, my no, family. That's, no, no, pray, like honestly, praying is good, but you have to believe in your heart. You gotta believe Jesus. I believe is God. in myself, I believe in See, my heart. See, that's where you're going. You know what? See, I'm no. gonna be the fucking champion of the world see, in MMA. No, you're language. gonna see me in the UFC in like two years. I'm training a lot. I'm training so hard. Uh, Hey, you're gonna remember my name, Daniel Maximchik. You will see. You, you have to see. believe. Oh, God with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, guys. That's what I'm talking to you. That's the quote. Like, God is, God is good. All right, but Take you, care. but you have, have to believe that Jesus one. is have God. No, Let me give you this. I'm gone. I'm gone now. Have All right, but no, you have to take yeah. it. Okay. You have to believe that Jesus is God. Okay. Believe in Jesus. Jesus right. is our Lord. He died for us. Listen to it. He saved. He saved our lives. He saved our lives. Let's see. All right. You have to believe born again of God's Spirit. You got to believe Jesus is God. You got to believe that He died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. Are you so, no, I'm not Catholic. You're not you're no. Jihad. No, I'm I'm a born again Bible believing follower of Jesus Christ. So non denomination. So am I am I saying something wrong? Catholic Church is bad. Catholic Church is bad. You know what? <laughs> hey, why are you don't give me the phone? Hey, listen. She's right, you know, Catholic Church is bad because they like looking for money. But anyway, they Jesus Jesus Christ saved our lives. Praise to God. Have a lovely, have a lovely life, everyone. I, I wish you the best and stuff. Kisses. Bye bye. You gotta be born of God's spirit. You gotta believe Jesus is God. That he died for your sin, was buried and raised on the third day. You know what? Most people say they believe in Jesus, but they don't know him. They haven't had a they don't have a relationship with him. They haven't had that come to Jesus, born again moment. You know, I was like that for a very long time. I thought, you know, I was 18. I had an experience, an encounter with Jesus. And for a very long time, I was thinking that, you know, oh, I just had to be a good person and that going to church was a good thing. And, that, you know, that going to church made me good and getting absolution was a good thing. I was completely deceived by the Catholic Church. And then in 2000 and... Um, 17, uh, Jesus brought me to the end of myself and I called on him, I got saved, I got born again, I went back to the Catholic Church, realized that it was a very dark place and that God wasn't in it, started reading my Bible, the scriptures was alive, it was a living word and I realized that Jesus was the truth and that nothing more important was, the, more, it was more important than him, all right, and so um, and the more I read the Bible, the more I realize that the Bible is not a Catholic book and that the Catholic Church teaches
things contrary to what is written in it. And the Catholics didn't give us the Bible. The Catholic Church didn't give us the Bible. You know, they people say that. Is he but a Catholic? He was, yeah, but he was, um, you know, he, I tried to, he, he didn't really speak very good English. Oh, okay. So it was very difficult to try to simplify the gospel for him. I mean, he spoke, he was okay, but it was very, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Madam, do you believe in God? So, but yeah, the Catholic Church didn't give us the Bible. They say that, um, oh, the Catholics gave you the Bible. They didn't write the Bible for a start, God did, okay? So let's say, for example, somebody wrote a book a thousand years ago, and then I find that book, and I copy that book, and I give it out to people. Do, am I the author of that book? Am I the owner of that book? No, of course not. I didn't write it. I just merely copied it down and gave it out to people. Well, the Catholic Church didn't even do that because before Constantine legalized Christianity and made it a religion, there were overseers in all the different churches, in Ephesus, in Smyrna, in Corinthians. There was a lot, there were overseers in all these different churches. And they came together in the third century, I think it's, yeah, it's third or second, and they decided that, um, what books they were going to use as the canon, which they were going to use. And that was, you know, all the overseers. There was no one, one universal bishop until, after, uh, until Gregory the Great. And so all the overseers, born again, Bible-believing followers of Jesus, Catholics means universal. It was not the Roman Catholic Church until Constantine legalized Christianity and the first universal bishop was introduced um, around the time of Gregory the Great. Um, and so they decided which books were going to be used in the canon. And they, used, they decided it based on the books that were already established in the early Christian church. Nothing to do with them writing it or being the author of it or anything else. So when people say to you it comes from the Catholic Church, it does not. It is God breathed. It's God's word. Uh, Psalm 138, so God puts his word above his name. All right, the Catholic Church did not give us the Bible. God did. God has preserved his word. He said he refines his word seven times, uh, I think. Um, but he... God, this is God's book, okay? Give God the credit. This is God's book, all right? People can copy it down. Does it make them responsible for it? So if I was to sit down now and I was to write it out and then send it out to everybody, am I, did I give people this book? No. So how can you say Catholics are responsible for giving us this book? The Roman Catholic Church didn't exist until Constantine legalized Christianity, became apostate, pagan, Roman Catholic in that time. But before that, God's church is his people. His church is universal. His people are spread out. The body of Christ is the church of God, Ephesians 5. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. The apostles are the foundation, no rock Peter. And those of us that believe in Jesus, we are all stones caught up in God's building. The Roman Catholic Church is... Um, the Roman Catholic Church is not a good religion. And you know what? I was going to wait to share this information, but I think I'll share it. Next week, Lord willing, I'm going to be doing a live with Mike Grendon. Uh, and he's, a, he's very known for, um, basically, he's a, he was Catholic, and then um, he's, he's so good at what he does. Like, he's a... He preaches against Catholicism and the economical church. He spent, I think, 35 years of listening to his testimony in the Catholic church. And then the Lord saved him. And then since then, he's been preaching, evangelizing Catholics and ecumenists um, for uh, however many years he's been doing it, a very, very long time. He's very, very good at what he does. I highly recommend him. Yeah, because apparently he does have a wife. I mean, that's limiting God. So, but yeah, so that's, so that's what, um, that's what's going to be happening next week. All right. So look out for that. Okay. Um, so he's going to come on and, and, and he will talk to us. Um, and so that's something that, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Very much looking forward to that. So, um, okay. So, but I will give you a lot more details when I know. I know the day, I'm just, we just got to sort out the finer details um, and we will in the Lord's timing. But 
So he'll come on because he's very good and he's been doing his job a long time. The Lord has been working through him a long time in reaching Catholics um, and economicals. And this is what it's about. It's about the truth. It's about the gospel message. It's about the preaching of the truth, contending for the faith um, that was entrusted to us. So, um, but I'll give you more details in, uh, when I um, in time. So, so the Catholic Church is a false religion. It really is bad. Really, really is bad. They are not responsible for giving us the Bible. I can't believe that people actually think that. All right. So... This country is terrible. They're thinking of banning the preaching to homosexuals. That's just what they're doing. Because, you know, they're thinking of making it a law. I don't know too much about it. I haven't looked too much into it. But that would be, that would be wickedness, pure wickedness, because it's sinful behavior. It's leading them to hell. They need the gospel message. Jesus can change them. It's not about people trying to coax them into being something else. They come to know Jesus Christ. They accept that they're a sinner in need of a savior. They put their complete faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin. And he will transform them from the inside out. And at the very least, would give them the grace that they needed to sustain from that um, behavior. And, you know, and, um, and however he does it in each person would be different to every single individual. No two people are the same. Our sanctification walks are different. But he would do that. God would change them. And they wouldn't want to continue doing the same old things that they've always done. It would be a work of God, not a work of man. So... Um, uh, hold on, let me see what we're up to. Alright. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm still alive. Do you want to uh, stay here or do you want to go somewhere else? Um, I don't know. We can. Uh, where did you want to go? Well, we don't want to dox our location. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, we can stay for 10 more minutes and go somewhere else. Just gonna see. I'm gonna pray. Yeah. Amen. Do you have any questions? Yeah. So we were just talking about the Catholic Church, and I was just telling them that. Um, oh, somebody, the Babylon church. Yeah, the Babylonian church. I was, I was letting them know that next week we're kind of planning to go live with Mike. Oh, that. yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, so... Yeah, the Babylon church of the whoredom. So, but, um, yeah, so because they were saying about the Hold on. Catholic church, so I figured... So, but yeah, no, they were saying that the Catholic Church gave us Excuse the Bible. Do you believe in God? Come and have a conversation with us. Yeah, so many people, they don't care about God and, you know, literally they're just worshipping creation um, because they worship money, people, maybe things. Um, but. Excuse me, sir, do you believe in God? Yeah. Can we discuss that? Yeah. Anyway, it, it, you know, and this is why people go to hell because in the end they don't want to know, and yeah. um, you know some of them they don't want to know so much that they even die. They don't want it to know even on their deathbed. It just takes a. Uh, what does the Bible says about the atheist man? Is um, they? I'm trying to think of the word. They're haughty. Uh, they think they know it all and they know everything and. Yeah, the Bible yeah. says only a fool in his heart says there's no God. Yeah. Can 
anyway, do you have any questions? This is talk? Amy, and she's yeah. from Apologetics London. So you can check out her YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, she's from Apologetics London. Check out her YouTube. So we're gonna move on location. Yeah. We tried this one. Um, Are we going on me, the underground? Do you believe in God? No. Excuse me. Oh, he looks like I'm a friend of my dog, but she's yeah. tied up. We're gonna go so, in a minute. Should we sign out and then sign back in when we get to the new yeah. location? I'm just literally gonna see five minutes. Okay. John Kirk, that's not true. We live in a fallen world. We live in a world where people get sick and people die. But the reason being is because of sin. Sin is the reason that death came to all men, you know. Uh, God is good and God is faithful and God is, you know, he's righteous in his judgments and stuff like that. But, you know, people get sick and they die. I mean, my auntie died yesterday of cancer as well. Um, and I was very sad because I didn't get to speak to her. I didn't get to share the gospel with her. And so, you know... But I do know that God is a good God and God is a righteous God and he's a just God and that everybody will be in heaven because only through faith in Jesus Christ and nobody will be in hell because, uh, because you know, God didn't save them but because they didn't believe in Jesus. That's the reason. And because you know what, God, sin entered into the world through Adam, sin, and it came to all men, death came to all men. And because of this, because of that, we live in a fallen world and it is weighed down by sin. And we, people get sick and they die. Um, but God in his love of us took on human flesh and he came into his creation and he lived a perfect life and he suffered and died on the cross for us so that we could live forever with him in paradise. We don't deserve this gift. We have done nothing but rebel against God. People shake their fists up at God when they suffer and say, why? You know, well, what does God owe you? Why does God owe you anything? He doesn't. But he loves you so much that he sent his only begotten son into the world to die for you so that you could have salvation. God loves you so much that even though you are in complete rebellion to him, he still gives you rain in season, out of season. He still he makes his rain fall on the just and the unjust. You have food in your belly because God has fed you. You have basically, um, you know, you have um, you have basically uh, food. You have food in your belly because God has given you food. You've got your friends. You've got your family. God is so good to us, even though we don't deserve it. And God is offering everybody a free gift of salvation. And if you harden your heart and reject Him, you will end up in hell. But not because God didn't love you, not because God didn't reach out to you and save you, but because you rejected Him, because you focus on the here and the now. And it's such a sad thing, you know. I feel really sad for my family right now. Some of them for what they're going to be going for, what they're going through. But you know what else? You know, God is reaching out to people to give them eternal life. But people reject the message because they focus on the t things that are temporary. They don't focus on, you know, eternity. So loved ones die, it happens. Bad things happen in this world, but it is not because of God. God is good and everything he does for us is good. And one day every human is going to die. Everybody's gonna die and everybody's gonna meet him and everybody's gonna face his judgment. And so, you know, but you don't have to suffer in hell. You don't have to suffer in this life. I mean, yes, you do have to suffer in this life. But what I mean is when you have Jesus, he gives you a hope in the midst of that suffering. He can comfort you in the midst of that suffering. He can give you love in the suffering, peace in the suffering. He can give you back. All right. So, okay. So anyway, God in his love of us sent Jesus to die for us so that we could live forever with him in paradise. It's a sad thing when people die, but sadly enough, everybody's going to die. And how and when and why, only God knows. But you can live forever if you put your trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. Daniel here again. All right. Wow. Hello. I just wanted to say, because she was like, Chad, who, who lied? Who lied? I was talking about the camera.
Catholic Church. I wasn't talking about Yo, you went to Catholic Church, okay. No, I said the Catholic All Church I wanted to first. say is like you if you that. if you guys, if you listen to me, it's like 70k. No, 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 no. How many people no, listen there? 36. Okay, listen, listen guys. If you can see it in here and you have courage enough yeah, to I speak it, it and if you have courage perfect. enough to speak it, it will happen. It will happen, guys. No, 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 no. No, you can have your speaker. Right. Now I'm doing the interview. No, no, no. Can I ask you some questions? Can I ask you some questions? No, like, are you happy? Are you happy in your life? Yeah. Jesus saved my soul. I'm Jesus happy. Jesus saved your soul. Okay. Yeah. Thanks saved a lot, soul. everyone. Hugs. Right. Hey, stay, stay blessed. Um, All good for you. All right. God bless. You need to be born again of God's spirit. You need to come to faith in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in Jesus. I'm really sorry to the person that said they lost their family. You know, I'm really sorry. I really do pray for you. But Jesus is real. Jesus is alive and Jesus can save your soul. Don't reject him. Because bad things happen and sin is the reason. But God in his love of you came into his creation and suffered and died the worst death. Worse than any of us. And he did that in his love of us. So, you know, we need to be humble in the sight of God and we need to cry out to him and ask him to save us all and put our faith and trust in Jesus for the forgiveness of sin. Okay. All right. So, um, so... That chap needs to be saved, unfortunately. Um, I'm looking for the person that spoke. John Kirk. Okay. All right, John, I really pray that you turn to Jesus. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. We suffer in this world. People, we lose people we love and we care about. Sad things happen. But you know what? God is always good and he's faithful. And God died a death when he took on human flesh. He died in the flesh. He died, you know, he died the death that we deserve to die. He suffered and died more than anybody else did. You can't, when we suffer, we can't be shaking our fists up at God and saying why. As if we're only, you're only going to follow God if he makes our dreams come true or he, he gives us the desires of our heart. That's not why we come to God. We come to God because we're wretched sinners and we have no hope of salvation apart from Jesus Christ. And that's why we come to God. We do not come to God because he makes all our dreams come true. Jesus did not come into this world to give us the desires of our heart so that we could do whatever we want. The Bible says it's no longer I who live, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that we live, we live by faith in the Son of God. It ain't about what God could do for us now. It's about what we do. Well, he in us enables us to do work for him. But it's about him. This is what this is our faith. Our faith is to glorify him. It's to make him known to the world. He is the only one worthy of our praise, honor, and worship and glory. And just because things are bad in our lives does not give us the right to shake our fists up and say, I'm not following you anymore. Like who do we think we are that we get to dictate to God? We don't get to dictate to God. We tell God, you know, God that we don't tell God, God tells us. And God loves us so much that he sent his son into the world to die for us so that we could have salvation. That's true love. That's true love. That while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That, you know, there's no greater love than this and one will lay down his life. That's what Jesus said. And he did that for you, John. Come to Jesus Christ. Use your grief to drive you nearer to him. Don't let the enemy drag you away from, the, from God because sadly we live in a fallen world where sin it, you know, it's weighed down by its sin and people die and they get sick and bad things happen. But God is always good and we put our trust in what he does and not in anything else. All right, I'm really sorry for your loss. I'll certainly pray for you anyway. Um, I think we're going to go on to a different place. I think we're going to turn off this live stream and then I can charge my phone up for a while. And then uh, we will... Are we going to go somewhere else now? All right, okay. So anyway, I'm going to sign off and then we're going to sign back on in a little while. All right, so I will speak to you all very soon. God bless you.